Namaste, beautiful family. How are you? Um, it's been a while since we've been on, um, but I thought, obviously, at this moment in time, while things are going good and positive, that I thought I'd jump on and obviously um, deal with some uh, issues that may be coming up, but also some spiritual guidance and some dates that are happening. So please join me in this um, on this line. Thank you. I'm get some water. Sorry. Oh, there we go. We've got some water. So don't forget to please say hello. Um, much appreciated at this time. If you do, just to let you know. Hi, Alicia. You're right. Lovely. Thank you so much for joining. Again, please don't forget to say hello and can join with everyone. We know it's been a while, but um, the last couple of lives have not been <laughs> um, a little bit kind. Obviously, we've had... Um, issues with illness and obviously with my dad as well do you know what i mean so it's kind of like we're just getting back on track so hello 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 everyone that's joining in um and like i say it's fantastic to see you all hi heather you're all right lovely uh thanks for joining again obviously i know it's uh, it's been a while um but obviously there's some a the little bit of guidance that i uh i feel obviously we need to divulge to keep you in thing Hello, Susan. You're out, lovely. Thank you so much for joining me, darling. Thank you so much. It means a lot. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, it, it's been a great time, hasn't it? Um, um, how's your uh, Mercury retrograde gone? Um, because it's been a little bit, ooh, a bit wobbly, hasn't it? So again, while it's been a bit wobbly, um, and people have been um, learning, as they say, because um, I don't like to word, use the, uh, a negative word of. Uh, well, I'm not going to say it anyway, so we'll always say that we're always learning. So again, if you're on, and please like and share. Again, just helping out, just pushing this forward, and just helping um, that those that don't get the notifications, um, if you just like and share um, our beautiful community, but also our wonderful lives. I've got some beautiful candles lit, and obviously we've got some incense lit, so that's most important. I'm just going to take the shoes off and relax a little bit more while we're doing this. Oh, brilliant. So again, don't forget to say hello to everyone. It's been one hell of a hat. Yeah, absolutely. It's been definitely one hell of a ride um, during the Mercury retrograde. But luckily, we're now out of this retrograde and that's the most important thing. Um, yeah, obviously for the last four and a half weeks, um, things have been coming up and it's not been an easy time for a lot of people. So again, obviously, when we start to understand, obviously, that we are of a spiritual nature, start to understand it on a deeper conscious level, then obviously, you know, we then obviously start to move forward. And again, as we move out of this retrograde, it's absolutely perfect, um, because obviously it's all about learning. But then we've now got out of the retrograde from Mercury, and now we're back into, we're now moving into Saturn's retrograde. So it's like, oh my God. So again, what's gonna be happening here? So again, during the Saturn retrograde, it's in essence, it's time to get your shit together. <laughs> As they say, it's time to get it all together because this is what we need more than anything. Yeah. So the one thing is the Saturn is now starting to work on to its backward dance. So again, obviously, because Mercury was in a backward dance and it is now obviously um, out in the light. And obviously um, Saturn, obviously wonderful planet it is. He's now on his backward dance, so again, it's not receiving the light. So again, everything is going on. And this is all about your positive mindset, okay? So this is what um, Saturn is all about, your positive mindset. It's all about manifesting. So again, starting to use your uh, spiritual journey and again, start to manifest even deeper. Hi, Kate, you're out, lovely. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. We're just going on at this moment in time. We're just talking about being um, the backward dance of, obviously. Thank you so much, darling, for those uh, 200 stars. <laughs> you make me giggle. Um, but hey, it's one of those things, isn't it? So thank you so much. So again, like you say, a positive mindset. And again, what you, ma what you manifest, you start to bring to fruition. And again, this is why we're going to be doing the wonderful uh, event on the 14th of June. And obviously, I'll bring, in, I'll bring you more up to date on that, if that makes sense. 
um, but it's going to be absolutely fantastic because, you know, on that day is the super moon. And again, obviously, we start to do a lot of cleansing, so it's going to be absolutely fantastic. So again, as we're moving forward, again, please, 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 obviously, like and share if you can. And moving forward, because obviously, this is what we like to do. So again, this wonderful planet of Saturn, like I say, is going backwards. But again, it's very free spirited. So when we think about, obviously, Saturn being very free spirited, we think about it, this is in also in Aquarius. So this is where your true seeking starts to happen. This is where everything starts to come forward. And obviously we start to receive a positive guidance. And when we receive that beautiful guidance, but this is, you know, Saturn's going to be running. You tell me there's another retrograde. Yeah, I know, darling, absolutely. <laughs> I know every time the one thing is, is that obviously when something's going wrong, I always say to Danny, we're in a retrograde, you know? So again, it's about always learning, always evolving, always ascending, but you know, it's on a positive mindset. So again, this free spirited, obviously planet spinning is in Aquarius. So again, like I said, it's just gonna be where, um, again, it's all about true seeking, like I said before, but again, standing in your power. Hello, Cara, how you doing, lovely? Thank you so much. And yes, we're definitely all in this together. So again, this um, retrograde runs to the 23rd of October, okay? So again, it's quite a long time. It's quite, I mean, what, we're in May now, June? So we've got June, July, August, September, October. So we've got five months of this. So that's quite um, a massive um, amount of time. So again, this is gonna feel very chaotic. Yeah, it's going to feel very chaotic. So again, obviously with this, but very, very more constructive. Yeah, it's more constructive, this one, which is, thank you, um, with um, beautiful, you know, gratitude, but also than destructive. Okay, so, but this may stall certain progresses that you are working with spiritually. So again, we need to start looking at um uh, your own responsibility for yourself so again understanding what you need whether this might be um healing again obviously or again start to working on your manifesting so when we're doing this again it really is about standing truthfully in your own power and owning your shit because this is what we need to do yeah but also this is a time for setting your goals, okay? Because this is what they want. So again, it, like I said before, it's more constructive than destructive. So again, when we start today, we're setting our own goals. And again, that also stems into manifesting. You may see it all over the internet at this moment in time because everyone is going nuts for it spiritually because we actually understand that what we are. And in essence, what we are are all magnets, yeah? We're a magnet for everything that we think and attract. And that's the most important thing. What you think you attract. So again, just be in the knowledge on that mindset. So again, but also you have to do by sending these manifest or setting these manifestations is also when we say getting yourself into organization. This again, when we go into an organization, this is about not only setting your own boundaries, but also working with your um your disciplines this is your grounding this is your attuning this is your protecting this is more than anything again when we're setting boundaries we start to understand and we start to set our own circles what sorry you can't hear me are you are you all right can anyone else hear me am i okay sorry i just want to make sure that um we're okay uh, oh you can now all right sorry <laughs> perfect okay so the biggest thing about this planet is it is the planet of karma. Eh, eh, eh. Shit. <laughs> so again, when we start to understand this is the planet of karma, we're asking ourselves over the last retrograde, did we do good things? Did we stand in, did we, <laughs> did we stand in our own power? Were we, especially when we were working in this time, were we kind? Yeah. Were we kind to others? Were we making sure that obviously on the spiritual nature that we're working or did we do bad things? And again, obviously with Planet of Karma, we're not saying it's going to come and whack you, but again, you know, um, there is possibilities because obviously what you send out, especially when you're manifesting or again, um, sending this out, that you could also find that the good things come back if you've done good things. So that's the most important thing. Yeah. So again, always caring nature and also again about forgiveness. So questions to ask, okay? Like I said, with the planet of karma, you know, which way did you go? Did you feel it was good? Did you feel it was bad? I mean, obviously, do you know what I mean? It's a case of, oh God, 
So, so many excuses and so many reasons. But the one thing is, is that during this time, okay, this is, this is what's so interesting about it. Excuse me. <laughs> Not like me to obviously cough up, is it? Um, during this time that you are in, uh, obviously this time of Aquarius up to the 23rd of October with the planet of Saturn, obviously in the backward dance, you've also got Mercury kicking back in, okay? So again, what you're learning, yeah, and what you're doing constructively, in comes Mercury on the back end on the 9th of September. And obviously that runs to the 1st of, uh, 1st of October. So it's, again, <laughs> we've got another one coming in. So again, you have to be aware of what you are doing. So again, this is the most important thing about um, your kindness, but also bringing everything that you are manifesting into fruition. So again, getting yourself um, into healing, get yourself into uh, a positive mindset, because when this comes, again, if you're not in that right mindset, then again, it's going to return everything that you didn't want, if that makes sense. And it's like, oh, crap. Do you know what I mean? So again, it's just trying to bring yourself into that positive mental attitude. Now, not only have we got obviously this as well, we've also got the point where we are hitting a new moon. And obviously this stems on perfectly. So again, as we start to move forward, we start to move into the strawberry moon. And again, with such a beautiful moon, but again, it's a fantastic super moon. And then the super moon, so the difference between the normal moon and a, a super moon is it's 30% 30, 30 bigger. No, it's not been put on steroids. <laughs> it, um, it, it comes a little bit closer, so it looks bigger to us. But again, obviously it affects, obviously the energies on the earth. So again, obviously with the seas and obviously the land, um, but also ourselves. So we also have to make sure that we look after us as well. So again, this super moon is coming uh, and we'll be at full peak on the 14th of June. So again, when we're on the 14th of June, we start to understand obviously that I think it peaks at 12.51 p.m. So again, at night time. So again, as we start to understand this on a, on a deeper level, we start to understand that manifesting, we're doing the law of attraction um, event, which is on the 14th of June. And again, we've got so many beautiful people coming to join us to do stalls. And obviously a lot of people that are coming to this because they want to learn about the law of attraction because this is what we want to do. We want to, we, we, we visit it on, in November last year. And now obviously we're bringing it back um, to again, this 14th of June. So again, it's been a while, but again, people keep asking. And so obviously if people keep asking and bringing it to, um, we're bringing it to fruition more than anything, if that makes sense. So again, this is all about manifesting love, money, and even your health. So again, under this full moon, obviously we'll be doing a lot of uh, manifesting and a lot of um, conversing. And obviously we're going to be dealing um, and, and listening to other people's stories as well, because that's the most important. So we've got some you know, beautiful people that have um, want to come up and talk about how they've manifested. So again, it just shows that not only am I doing it and that other people are doing it as well. And it's going to be absolutely fantastic. And I can't wait for that. Um, these people are obviously very kind to obviously come forward and agree to it, which is absolutely fantastic. So again, during this time, you also remember that it is all, like I say, about love, money and health. So again, people that are lacking love, again, this, own, this isn't only about love for other people or attracting whether it be a relationship or a partner. This is about love for ourselves as well. Whether it's about money, where you feel that you're lacking, that you're not receiving enough money. And again, we start to bring that into uh, prosperity as well. And also about our health and about how we understand how our health can affect us. And again, how we connect with that. And again, when we're doing this, again, we, we, we manifest our own thinking because obviously your thoughts are very powerful. So again, under this full moon, while we're doing this, it'll be time to recharge. So again, you can get your crystals out. Um, again, you can start to do a lot of saging, a lot of burning. Um, and when you and again, you can also do a lot of grounding as well. And this is what we're going to do on that evening as well, because it's really, you know, it's paramount that we, you know, we get everyone uh, nice and calm again while we're uh, we're working. So it's going to be brilliant. Um, apart from that, has anybody got any questions that they'd like to ask? I know, obviously, it's, we don't normally go live on a Saturday night. It's like Saturday night live. Um, but <laughs> it's uh, it's just a case of. Um, getting this back on the on the way because like I say last um last month um like I say unfortunately Dan was not well and then unfortunately you know my dad um uh, was sadly ill 
um, again with his heart, but luckily, you know, and touch, be touch wood, you know, because everyone, and um, I think it's just taking this time to thank every one of you for sending your love and your healing and your well, your well wishes, because, you know, he's now back home, he's more safe, obviously he's doing a lot of healing, which is absolutely fantastic, but again, for myself and my family, we can't thank you enough uh, for your time and your thoughts and your well wishes. It really does mean so, so much. And the one thing is, is obviously, because he, again, he's still here, you weren't surprised how, as a... Um, trying to think of the words now <laughs> um as you know as a conjoined obviously healing scent then it just means that everyone that sent that healing you know boosted it all up so it's a conscious collective is what i'm looking for and that's absolutely amazing so again for myself and my family we can't thank you enough it really does mean a lot um hopefully my dad will be there at the event so if you um pending um so again obviously um the way that he's feeling but if he does it'll be a massive bonus uh to have him there and obviously you can all catch up with him because you know what my dad's like he, he loves a good catch up with you all and he loves a good gossip <laughs> so he's absolutely fantastic so again um this was only just a quick live um if you want to buy tickets um for the event um i will actually put that in the comments um, you can turn up on the night and pay on the door. Obviously, my beautiful wife, Danny, is going to be there um, to um, obviously get you in. <laughs> I don't know if she's going to sneak you in or not. Oh, thank you, Christine. It means a lot, obviously, that, yeah, he's definitely okay. Um, but, yeah, you can pay on the door. Um, there are refreshments at the bar. Um, the door's open at 6. I'm not going to go live on there till about 7, half 7. Um, I'm going to be on till about half 9, something like that. And uh, obviously you've got time to spend um, buying some beautiful gifts. Um, again, Father's Day is coming up, so you can also work with uh, buying crystals or again, any of the other stalls that are gonna be on there. So again, we've got Heather um, doing the crystals. We've also got Lucy doing uh, wax melts and things like that. Um, sorry, I'm, I don't mean things like that. And um, yeah, we've got Body Shop with Shannon. We've got Nikki doing her Tropic. Um, if there's anyone missing out, I'm really, truly sorry. Uh, mine's gone a bit blank. <laughs> but at the same time, um, positive things. And it's gonna be a fantastic evening with a lot of learning. And again, this workshop will teach you so much, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, we, you know, going forward, uh, now we're out of that retrograde and obviously I'm going to start to work, do a lot more lives. So again, while we're doing that, there's going to be more card readings and I want to do more meditations. That's the most important thing uh, to get you guys um, up, up and running and again, helping you through this uh, time of the backward dance. I love dancing. It's fantastic. But again, this dance is going to be completely different. <laughs> yeah. I got the power. Um, th again, thank you all for everyone for your comments during that um, TikTok. Um, it's, I've, it's not very rare I do them now, uh, but when I do, it's just because, in essence, for me, truthfully, um, because I've not been on for such a, a while, and my apologies for that, but again, obviously through obviously family um, issues, um, I kind of lost a little bit of confidence doing this. So, um, yeah, so every time I really wanted to go live, I, I, I didn't want to, but again, I just want to show that obviously that I'm just as, you know, I, I'm a weirdo, I get it, but um, I'm just as normal as you, that sometimes things affect me also. Um, but again, just doing that lat on that TikTok, just got me back up there, uh, started to raise the vibration, and uh, just feel that I can start to get back on the lives. So again, we can all talk and have a, a good natter. So again, if there's any questions that anyone would like what we've gone through, please join in. Uh, I'd really appreciate, obviously, um, some converse because being sat in here is just like fantastic and I love the energy in here. But, you know, it, it's, it's uh, it, it, you know, we're here. But again, like you're saying, hopefully you're all lighting, even, even, what do you mean, Jill Penny, even? So again, obviously, like you say, we're um, lighting and keeping the energy flowing in this room, which is beautiful. Um, again, you may have noticed that obviously we've had um,
quite a few people come through for Reiki One. Um, oh, evening, thanks, Jill. <laughs> Uh, which has been absolutely fantastic. We've had, a, you know, and it's obviously starting to build because obviously this is what I've been manifesting. So again, as I'm doing this and bringing this, you know, and putting it out there to the universe that this is what I'm asking for with lots of healing, obviously, you know, and um, continued with people learning because it's so fantastic to do Reiki. And uh, these people, like I say, we've got more coming. Uh, so it's absolutely fantastic. So it's starting to build. And this is what we do when we attract uh, beautiful energy. And again, positive energy that we're ask, asking for these people because that, you know, that's a, a, in essence a bit of a purpose of mine where I feel that I, you know, I want to help other people learn Reiki. So again, they can go off and learn about themselves on a deeper, deeper level, uh, learning about themselves and learning to heal about the things that have gone in the past. But again, obviously starting to bring that. So again, because healing, it's not, a, you know, we understand that obviously in the past things have gone on, but again, when they affect us, in the present moment, then when we learn to heal them, we understand obviously that when we revisit that, that it doesn't bother us anymore because you say, no, I've dealt with that, that's perfectly fine. So this is what we love about obviously, you know, and talking to obviously the people, um, amazing people that are learning Reiki as well. This is one of the things that they're, you know, that they've booked on for. And I've, I'm like I say, eternally uh, grateful uh, for their time. And obviously again, for being drawn uh, to me as this uh, fucking weirdo special guy, <laughs> spiritual badass, um, who want, you know, that they want to learn. And again, a lot of people that, you know, that come online who have also had the, you know, the, 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 the learning as well. I don't like to say it's training. Um, it's just something about we're manifesting that because, you know, we don't train, we always learn, don't we? Because we're always evolving and ascending and that's the most important thing. So again, obviously, as people come in, oh, 21, 21, namaste to you all. Thank you so much. Obviously, do you know what I mean? Great, obviously, angel number. Oh, it's gone now to 22, 22, so <laughs> 21, 22. But we got in there, we saw it. It's a sign. Thank you, universe. Thank you, spirit. Absolutely fantastic. So again, always, you know, making your awareness to it all. Um, I'm going to let you go um, because it seems obviously that I seem to be doing a lot of talking and um, everyone wants to just listen and it's perfectly fine. But yeah, absolutely, no mistake, do you know what I mean? It's absolutely fantastic. But people are coming online now, I don't know why. It's just like, well, we may as well just stay if um, thing. Like I said, this Saturn, it's beautiful. Like I say, it's going backwards, just like Mercury, just going over this. Um, again, um, I don't know. I kind of like, I'm just online. It's a Saturday night, I know, and a lot of people are on the old lash, um, enjoying, obviously, this Jubilee weekend. Um, fantastic, obviously, uh, community feel, and again, this is what we're all about on the beautiful community field. Field? Feel? <laughs> so, again, yeah, absolutely. I'm just going to take some water on because my throat's uh, hurting a little bit. But, yeah, um, lots more card readings coming up lots more meditations and um again bigger and better things are coming to fruition um but again obviously people are there hi Anne, if you're watching thank you for joining um you can always watch this back because i think we're going to go in a minute um i don't know um oh someone's letting fireworks off which is nice it's okay it's uh it's outside so it's uh i'm, I'm quite happy about that so it's brilliant um yeah Apart from that, time to recharge more than anything. I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for joining. And um, I'll catch you very soon. Um, hopefully either tomorrow night or Monday. Um, we're going to do some angel cards, um, some guidance cards. Um, so watch your space. If you um, Please check to see if you follow me. Um, obviously for notifications. So again, hit the follow button on my, on the, my main page. And then obviously you'll get updates as we continue to go forward. Uh, thank you so much for the stars, love. Uh, it means a lot, obviously. It really does mean a lot. But I, Oh, Justine, I didn't even know you were on. I didn't even know you were on. Oh, my God, it didn't even come up and show you. But anyway, um, sending you all love from my heart chakra to yours and sending you all beautiful, unconditional love. And again, sleeping well tonight. And again, please don't forget to, within your dreams that you are always journaling and reminding yourself about how your journey is going. Take care for now.